Hi, so this will be pretty different than my usual videos because I'm actually talking about um, going in the opposite direction of something natural in one area of my life. I've never been a purist and I think everyone has to um, yeah, choose their own um, paths when it comes to how natural you want to be. But um, it was a big step for me. I hennaed my hair. Well, I used a henna blend with other herbs for about three or four years, and I really liked it. Um, it was healthy for my hair. I could tell my hair was just like soft and healthy. But over time, the color stopped working for me. Um, I had just done it so many times that the color was just very um, all over the place. It was very varied. And I was starting to feel really uncomfortable with the way that it looked. I felt, um, yeah, I, I felt self-conscious about it. So I decided to go back to chemical dyes, at least for a while, to get it back to one basic color. So a lot of people will tell you, um, hairstylists will tell you that you can't chemical dye over henna. And um, I actually had to sign a release form. My hairstylist took a patch test and tried it to make sure that there weren't any bad reactions. So if your henna is all natural, you know, blended with all natural herbs, um, like this brand, this is what I always used. And, um, this is henna, indigo, amla, false gooseberry, and neem. All herbs. So, and lush, a lot of people use lush. That's all natural too. And that, in those cases, then you can dye over, but you have to go, you know, the same shade or darker. Um, so she had to pick out the darkest color in my many colors in my hair and go with that because you can't go lighter. Um, that is true with henna. There are ways to get around that, to get around it. It takes a long time and I wasn't interested in doing that. I, I did a couple of coconut oil, um, like uh, sleeping with coconut oil in my hair. That's one way to do it, but you have to do it multiple times and it's, uh, it's kind of hit or miss anyway. But um, yeah, uh, a lot of hairstylists will not touch your hair if you've hinted it at all. Because if it has chemicals in it in your blend, then there can be a bad reaction. I mean, they talk, if you watch videos, they'll be like, oh, my hair was smoking or this, you know, I was cutting or dyeing this person's hair and they didn't tell me his henna on it and they went bald. So um, do be careful. But if you go to someone who says, hey, yeah, you know, we can, we can do this, we can do a patch test, then um, trust them. So... This is what happened. This is how dark my hair is now, which is darker than I like, but at least it's summer and I don't look too goth. Um, and over time I can lighten it. And then I will most likely go back to henna -ing. Um But yeah, as I said, just after three or four years, it just um, wasn't working for me anymore. I think maybe if I had gone to someone, a professional um, hairstylist who henna and I know there's one or two around here and um, Washington, then maybe they could have done something, but I was just impatient and just asked my um, old hairstylist if she would do it and she gave it a try. So I just wanted to make a video about that because there are so many scary videos uh, about once you do henna, you're stuck for life. You have to do it forever or just let it grow out or, you know, shave your head or whatever. And that's not true. You know, I decided to stop henna in and like July and then it took me a while to get to the hairstylist but it was like the end of August and boom new hair so um I don't particularly like the way it feels like it's got that dyed hair feel again I'm like oh yeah I remember this feel but I'll live with it for the time being um so yeah let me know if you've had any experiences with henna and how it went thanks for watching bye